You know, it's funny how life works. The moment, and I mean the moment where a game does not get overhyped. The game is good. What's up y'all, UTXJG the Don. Ready to kick some actual factuals. So sit down, let's get started. Now, Mad Max. This was a game that I wasn't expecting, but I had on the radar. As you all know, we went to E3, and Mad Max was actually one of the games that was behind a box, which meant they did not want anyone to record any footage. Now, IGN did get some gameplay a little bit later on, but I really didn't know what Mad Max was going to be like. I didn't know if it was going to be strictly a racing game, like a Twisted Metal Deathmatch type of game. I really had no idea. So when I saw the gameplay, I was like, well, this kind of reminds me of like Rage. And Rage was actually a very, very good game. But of course, you know, that game was in first person and Mad Max is in third person. So I didn't know what type of elements was going to be in the game. I really didn't know anything. But again, when I watched the IGN gameplay of it, I was pleasantly surprised to see what type of game that it was. So I was more intrigued, but still not hyped enough because you know what game ended up getting hyped and kind of not hyped because of the drama that was Metal Gear Solid Phantom Pain which also came out today as I'm doing this commentary. So of course that's going to be the main game that will be on a lot of people's radar and that a lot of people I'm sure ended up picking up and skipping out on Mad Max. So since Mad Max did not get the hype and probably might not get as many commercials, maybe, maybe not, it all depends because this is WB. And I'm gonna get on that in a moment, but this is again a game published by Warner Brothers. Now, can we all recall the last game that had the PC gaming world tripping balls? Oh, Batman, Batman, Batman. Yep, it was Batman. So, <laughs> going back to the point because I know I'm gonna end up wrapping around, but since Mad Max did not get hyped, the game is great, and I mean great. The game is buttery smooth. We have graphics options. I'm running mine at high right now. I didn't even try Ultra, but the game looks amazing, and it is buttery smooth. I did not drop a single frame while playing this game, people. Not a single frame. I'm just so pleasantly surprised the game works. The game works. It is amazing. I played about maybe four or five hours so far, and it's just great. So I'm trying to figure out what is the formula? What is the formula for having these games that come out on multiple platforms? These games that come out on multiple platforms. What is the formula for actually having these developers come out with a buttery smooth optimized game on the pc i've got it when you hype games up or overhype games that's when the pressure gets on the developers and that's when they put out a pile of crap now when you leave them alone let them do their work let them fly under the radar and then the game comes out that's when the game is amazing now, can we recall what game last year did that? Oh, Shadow of Mordor. That's right. Also, a WB game. It just seems like WB is hit or miss, man. They are hit or miss. It's like every other game or every other, every other, other game ends up being dope. But I don't know, man. WB has to get it together. But I believe that's the formula, people. So, I understand that you may be super excited about a game, but I'm going to just not be hyped about anything and just cross my, I'm gonna cross my fingers that the game works smoothly. So let me know what y'all think, man. Is this the formula? Do I got it? Did JG the intellectual get it? I'm out, y'all. Enjoy Mad Max. Definitely pick this up if y'all weren't thinking about it. Peace.